There's breaking news to begin the coverage tonight on NEA Report. It's Stan Morris reporting at 16 minutes after the hour. It's 4.16 in Jonesboro where there's been a semi-accident involving a car. And this has taken place at Southwest Drive and West Parker Road at the intersection there. And it's a very busy time of the day. And over the next 45 minutes, we'll continue to get even busier. Uh, this traffic accident reported a short time ago by Jonesboro E911 Director Jeff Presley on uh, the D1 Jonesboro Twitter account. This just came in a, a few moments ago to NEA reports. So we want to bring this along to you live as, as we are uh, hearing about it. Uh, it's again Parker Road and Southwest Drive is where the report is that this took place. For those of you familiar with the area, Parker Road, Southwest Drive, you're going to have an Exxon, the Rodeo, or maybe Rodeo, I would say Rodeo, Mexican Grill, and uh, Bear State Bank kind of right over there. You could see on the map uh, where we're talking about on the across the, uh, the road would be that Wendy's location. Uh, it's this area that you can see my mouse pointer kind of uh, running uh, the roads with. It's this area, West Parker, it's Southwest Drive that has had a traffic accident that's involved a semi-truck this afternoon. Uh, they're saying expect delays in the area. Uh, it looks like that that's been a pretty significant crash. We don't know uh, conditions or anything like that at the moment. Uh, of course, we're hopeful that the uh, uh, folks will be uh, able to uh, uh, the first responders can get there and hopefully they'll find out that that's not as serious as it certainly would first indicate. But anytime you have a car and a semi-accident that takes place, uh, it, it could be something um that first responders may be working for a bit. So if you're driving in Jonesboro, just be aware, uh, as we begin our newscast today, there's an accident at West Parker Road, Southwest Drive in Jonesboro. We showed you that right there on the map. Uh, we want to make sure that everybody uh, knows where that uh, is and, and hopefully is able to keep themselves adjusted accordingly to avoid the, the traffic delays and stay safe, too. I'm Stan Morris. Thanks, everybody, for joining us today on NEA Report. We're getting set to bring you a little bit of a late broadcast today, a bit of a delayed one. Today's broadcast is brought to you by our friends at Family Medical Clinic of Walnut Ridge. We'll hear from them real fast, and then we'll bring you the headlines of the day. That's next on NEA Family Report. Family Medical Clinic of Walnut Ridge and Bono are your neighborhood health care providers, and we're now accepting new patients. We know you have a tight schedule, so we're here six days a week at both locations from 6 a.m. to 7 p.m. Walk-ins are welcome. In Walnut Ridge, stop by 1045 West Main Street or call us to make an appointment, 886-8300. In Bono, we're on Highway 63 North or call 930-9990. Walnut Ridge Family Medical Clinic and Bono Family Medical Clinic. Here for you when you need us. First up tonight, it's a horrific story out of Poinsett County and one that's not appropriate for all audiences. As a matter of fact, I can't even begin to tell you who this would be appropriate for because the details are disturbing to anybody with a shred of humanity. It's a story of a mother that's now facing a second-degree murder charge in the death of her one-month-old infant. And this is a local story we're talking about right now. It's from the Pitts community in Poinsett County. That on Tuesday, the one-month-old child named Kaisley was found dead. We know now the child was found dead in the dryer. Yes, the clothes dryer inside of this home. And the story gets worse, if you can even imagine how. Tyra Neal, 25 of cash, appeared before a judge yesterday, had her bond set at $1 million, and she is facing a second-degree murder charge in addition to a charge of abuse of a corpse. The allegation is that the one-month-old child, as ch children often have digestive troubles, and this one-month-old had diarrhea, according to the report, that then led to the allegation, that is still an allegation, that the mother is alleged to have put the child in scalding hot water. The allegations go on, according to the Jonesboro Sun, by the Poinsett County Detective William Holmes, who was in court yesterday. He said that the baby was then put in the dryer. It's so hard to imagine this case and this story. Uh, investigators say that initially the woman told them that her two-year-old placed the baby in the dryer. She also allegedly said she may have placed the child in scalding hot water due to the child's diarrhea. 
A search of the home yielded no drugs, which would be one of the first questions a lot of folks would ask. What about drugs? Were drugs involved? And that was something we thought was of interest to bring along. Uh, there were at least four other children living in the home who were reportedly taken into Arkansas Department of Human Services custody. Another man, Cody McKellar, 24, of cash, was also arrested, and it was for first degree endangering the welfare of a minor. But WREG reports that he is the father of the child, and they also reported that uh, charges against him had not been uh, brought forth or at least taken into uh, court, possibly not being pursued. We don't know that right now. We're still kind of uh, waiting, as the sheriff, Kevin Mulder, has said, that an investigation is still ongoing. And, and the report specifically from the Sun said that, uh, that this could yield more charges still as well. The Sun also reported that the woman that you're looking at cried uh, at the hearing and shook her head public defender was appointed. The Point Sit County Sheriff's Office and the Arkansas State Police are investigating this horrendous case out of uh, Northeast Arkansas. Can't imagine what the detectives and what the law enforcement officers went through that had to look at that, but our thoughts with them, with the family, and with everyone uh, involved in this real tragedy. Hmm. 24 minutes after the hour in NEA report, we're just going to give you another update. Uh, that super's not supposed to show up. That's another glitch from live stream. So there's been a, uh, an accident that's happened on Southwest Drive and West Parker Road. Uh, it's uh, reported just a short time ago from Jonesboro 911 Director Jeff Presley. The report being that a semi versus car accident took place uh, over there. And if you know where we're talking about, we're talking about where uh, the highway would turn into Southwest Drive right as it intersects Parker Road. Uh, if you're driving through the area, folks, please use caution and be safe. Looks like there's going to be some traffic delays in that area and there may also be some injuries too. Our, our, our hopes are out with uh, the folks that are out there right now as we're not exactly sure what the scene looks like. Um, we have reached out to a few folks uh, in uh, the department to hopefully find out more about this as it happens. Big fun happening tomorrow at the Craighead County Jonesboro Public Library. From 10 a.m. until 2 p.m., it's the Big Summer Reading Club kickoff, a celebration that's going to be taking place on the front lawn. There's going to be a lot of folks there, including First Community Bank and Harps cooking hot dogs. Our buddies at East Arkansas Broadcasters will have the Hayes Polar Roller. Oh, it may not be called that anymore. It's called the Polar Roller, I know that. Uh, and it's got ice cream loaded in it. I've driven that thing down the road a few times myself over the years. Uh, that's going to be out there 10 a.m until 2 p.m. is when this party is happening at the library tomorrow, Saturday, of course, for those watching this, uh, after the fact, Saturday, June 2nd. Uh, out there, they're going to have bubbles and chalk, henna tattoos, painting, and a 3D printer demonstration, too. Get the kids kind of interested in some new age technology stuff. That's all that's going on out there. You can find out more information on their website. If you go to the Craighead County Jonesboro Public Library's website, just Google it. You can find it pretty easy. Uh, and that's all tomorrow. And it uh, should be a nice day, too. No rainfall expected until the afternoon hours. So uh, we have, uh, and that's just a slight chance if that even happens. Uh, so it should be perfect weather uh, for a fun day tomorrow at the library in Jonesboro. Haley Norris, Realtor. No. Should I make my hair go like this? Whether you need to buy, sell, or lease. Haley, can I use my hands? Or is yeah. that, where, where are my hands? Where do they go? Just Haley. Say, <laughs> just say Haley. <laughs> <There you go. laughs> Whether. <laughs> you need my expertise. Haley Norris, Realtor. Or even do a commercial lease. Haley Norris, Realtor. Do, should I say Remax Real Estate Center or not? Is that too salesy? No, that's good. My average days on market is just 50 days. You need my expertise. And that means I'm putting more money back in your pocket. Tonight's weather brought to you by New Wave Wireless, home of the $49 iPhone screen repair. And more shower and thunderstorm chances exist for us tonight up until 7 p.m. according to the National Weather Service. 
They're saying a 30% chance for thunderstorms up until 7 and mostly clear afterwards with a low down to 76. For your Saturday, a 20% chance of thunderstorms after 1 p.m. With mostly sunny skies and a high near 95, but the heat index up to 106. Then Saturday night, showers and thunderstorms likely mainly before 1 a.m. Sunday. With mostly cloudy skies, a low around 70. The good news is there's no shower and thunderstorm chances on the day for Sunday or... Well, at least during the day on Monday. Sunny skies Sunday with a high near 88. 86 is your high on Monday. Monday night, though, a chance for showers and thunderstorms returns, and it uh, also lasts into Tuesday. It becomes a 30% chance into Tuesday. Right now, the temperature in Jonesboro is 90 degrees, partly cloudy skies outside, and we hope you're having a wonderful day. All right, so we're back with you here, and we're back on this uh, live rec coverage that we've been doing. What we're looking at right now is a look at the intersection, actually, of uh, Parker Road and Southwest Drive. Uh, this is not a live look. This is from Google Maps right now, and I'm going to zoom out and give you kind of the uh, street view of that so you can see where this reportedly uh, has taken place. This has been a traffic accident, according to E911 Director Jeff Presley, between a semi-truck and a car. could cause delays, but it could be uh, even more serious than that. We don't really know yet yet and uh, kind of waiting for updates but it was at this uh, intersection that we just showed you here on the map and I will actually flip that back around to the standard map view just to make it a little bit easier Southwest Drive West Parker Road and that's the report of where there has been an accident today. We're going to keep watching that closely this afternoon. Of course, for those of you who have been following us on NEA Report, there's been some uh, very um, difficult news over the past uh, uh, just a really several hours. This story out of Poinsett County, very disturbing. We're going to be following up on that as closely as we can, and uh, we actually may be posting some more news tonight as well. Um, for those of you who've been following NEA Report this week, you know, I've been doing a whole bunch of uh, different updates on the website. Thank you, Tom load up the website and show you guys some of the stuff we've been doing here. Uh, you can see on the website on NEAReport.com, if you go to it, it's, it's, there's some design changes. The idea was that I want everything to load up faster and I want everything to be simpler and easier to read. Uh, so I hope that we're getting uh, that process accomplished. Uh, you can see right over here, these are the top stories of the day. And I wanted to give more power back to the viewer by letting the area decide what our top stories are. This has, I don't decide what appears on the right side of your screen anymore on NEA report that is you whatever you guys are reading about that's what's going to be the top stories it gives more power back to the public and that's the way that I think it should be I think the press should share our responsibilities and our influence with the readers um, because ultimately this is your community uh, there's a lot of other areas of interest you could check out like for instance you can see some of the top stories right here it gives you kind of an animated view a preview of the story Let's say, for instance, you want to go and read some stuff. you got a, a hankering to read about crime, right? If you click on the Crime tab, once that page loads up, you'll actually see a unique design for that page. Uh, this terrifying, horrible story out of Poinsett County, the top story, quite obviously, on that page right now. Uh, but you'll see other stories as well that you can go through here, and, and they actually animate a little when you mouse over them. So there's some neat stuff there. There's also um, something we're working on for NEA Report is an NEA Report store. I get questions all the time for people that want to support us and that ask if they can get an NEA Report shirt. I would love it if NEA Report was more crowdfunded and less sponsor-funded, although I'd love our sponsor including Family Medical Clinic of Walnut Ridge, who was wonderful today to us, by the way. Thank you very much to them. Um, and I love our sponsors, but I also like the idea of, like I said, putting the power in the people's hands. So we're going to try to give that uh, a go, and hopefully we'll have that up and running within the next several weeks. If I get lucky, I may be able to get it up this weekend, but uh, God, if that sentence gets clipped, that's going to be... Uh, embarrassing. Uh, if I am able to, I will get the store online this weekend and we will uh, hopefully be able to test it out and see how that goes. Uh, let's see who we've got in chat with us. Rebecca's in chat with us today and next week still in under 90. Let's look at that uh, forecast again from New Wave and see what it looks like. Looks like we've got a few days under the 90 degree range next week. We do have a slight chance for showers and thunderstorms after 1 p.m. tomorrow, which is perfect if you're headed out to the Craighead County Jonesboro Public Library for their celebration that actually is 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. 10 a.m. to 2 p.m., I'm 
sorry, uh, that's going on tomorrow. Uh, but there is a chance for shower and thunderstorm activity after 1 p.m. According to the Weather Service, tomorrow it is only a 20% chance. Mostly sunny otherwise and a high near 95. Heat index 106. It's going to be hot tomorrow, but it's going to cool off a little bit after that. Sunday sunny and a high near 88. And Monday sunny with a high near 86. We appreciate everybody for joining us tonight on NEA Report. A little bit of a shorter broadcast than I uh, normally do, but if you guys were with us, we were kind of here all night last night uh, and uh, uh, just broadcasted ourselves to the point where I could barely speak. Uh, we'll be back with more news as it breaks out. Uh, we may do another uh, cut in this weekend. You never really know with us. Once uh, things start happening, that's kind of when we start to do the news. Uh, but I appreciate everybody for being patient with us for going on a little bit late today as we did. Uh, just a reminder, we still, uh, wrong button, Stan, just a reminder, we still do have a traffic alert that's uh, at West Parker Road and Southwest Drive. It's on your screen right now. It's what you're looking at. Uh, take it full screen so you can see it a little bit better. This uh, is a semi-truck involving a, a car and an accident that's taken place there. We don't know uh, anything except that delays have been stated to be expected by E911. I'm Stan Morris. Now you're up to date from NEA Report. Thanks so much, everybody, for watching us, and we hope you have a safe, wonderful, lovely weekend. And we'll be back if breaking news warrants or justifies that. Oh, yeah, I almost forgot, and I'm not going to stop. This is just so awkward. I forgot to tell you to subscribe to YouTube. <laughs> Go to YouTube and subscribe. You're already liking us on Facebook. Okay, I just really wanted to plug YouTube. Okay, I'm really done now. Goodbye.